Bowls Victoria's new City versus Country Challenge at Somerville is the first and currently the only opportunity for Victorian bowlers with an intellectual disability to play rep bowls. With no national championships for them, Bowls Victoria's Disability Support Committee decided to do something about it. All the other disabled sports had national championships, why didn't the intellectual disabled have championships? We wrote to all the other states and didn't receive a great response back, so we thought we were going to start with our own state and have a city versus country and hopefully build on from there. And it could be the start of something big. Eight player teams representing Vic Metro and Vic Country played three rounds of singles and pairs, and the quality of bowls, as you can see here, was very high indeed. <laughs> Big Country led after the first round, extended their lead after the second, and despite Metro winning one and drawing one in the third round, it wasn't enough. Vic Country running out winners. State Member of Parliament Daniel Molino, Bowls Victoria Chief Executive Graham Bridge and Bowls Victoria Director Lynn Baker were guests on a most successful day, which Bowls Victoria hopes will give another push towards a nationals for bowlers with an intellectual disability. Long term down the track, what we would really like to do is to be, have a national championship for intellectually disabled bowlers with all states participating. And in the long, long term down the track, we would like to hopefully have start a trans Tasman the Kiwis, where we can have the intellectually disabled and the visually impaired and the uh, physically disabled bowlers all participating in a trans action against, against a trans Tasman against the Kiwis. So there you have it, our inaugural champions, Vic Country. If you are interested in opportunities for bowlers with a disability, contact Bowls Victoria or go to our website for the latest information.